Ronald George Reeford Norrish FRS the 9th of November 1897 to the 7th of June 1978 was a British chemist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1967. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education and early life. Norrish was born in Cambridge and was educated at the Peirce School and Emanuel College, Cambridge. He was a former student of Eric Rydell. Career and research Norrish was a prisoner in World War I and later commented, with sadness, that many of his contemporaries and potential competitors at Cambridge had not survived the war. Military records show that 2nd Lieutenant Norrish of the Royal Artillery went missing captured in 21.3.18. Norrish rejoined Emanuel College as a research fellow in 1925 and later became the head of the Physical Chemistry Department at the University of Cambridge, occupying the left part of the Lensfield Road building with the other and separate Department of Chemistry which encompassed organic, theoretical and inorganic chemistry led by Lord Alexander R. Todd being accessed by going right at the main entrance. Both departments had separate administrative, technical and academic personnel until they merged to form one chemistry department under John Murig Thomas in the early 1980s. Norrish researched photochemistry using continuous light sources including after the war, searchlights. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honors Norrish was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1936. As a result of the development of flash photolysis, Norrish was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1967 along with Manfred Eigen and George Porter for their study of extremely fast chemical reactions. One of his accomplishments is the development of the Norrish reaction. At Cambridge, Norrish supervised Rosalind Franklin, future DNA researcher and colleague of James Watson and Francis Crick, and experienced some conflict with her. References <laughs>